Hello and welcome to the video tutorial of how to add an intro and an outro to an audio clip. We're going to be using Adobe Audition for this because it's by far my favorite recording software and by far the best. If you know how to do it in Adobe Audition, you'll definitely be able to figure out how to do it in Audacity in GarageBand. So go ahead and start off by clicking multi-track and we're gonna name this session title one. And we're gonna first start off with recording a little audio clip. So then we can go back and record the intro and outro afterwards. Hello, and this is a tutorial of how to add an intro prior to this actual little audio that I'm recording right now. And we're gonna finish up with an outro. Okay, so there we have it. I just recorded that quick little audio clip. Nothing too crazy, just a little audio. And now I'm gonna go through and actually add an intro and an outro by clicking this import file. I'm gonna go and find where in my computer my pre-recorded intro and outro are. And as you can see under this music, I have some intros and outros that I've previously created that are just ready to be inserted. So I'm gonna first be taking the intro and putting it down into the music bed because there is some music in there. I'm gonna be hitting that expand button to kind of give myself some more space. Dragging over my initial audio clip and see how it just kind of snaps to the end there. Now I'm gonna drag over the outro and place it at the end of the audio clip after my original recording. Welcome to EntrepreneurOnFire.com where remarkable entrepreneurs share their inspiring story. Seven other incredible guests. Prepare to ignite. Okay, so you can just kind of see how I was checking out the different intro and outro to make sure that it was exactly what I wanted and sounding good. So now I'm going to move the clip so it overlaps just a little bit here so I can really. Hello, and this is a tutorial of how to add an intro prior to this actual little audio. And that was a little overlap, so that sounded good. Now I'll bring the outro With over. an outro. Okay, Fire Nation, are you inspired enough to start your entrepreneurial journey? I've created a free... All right, so that sounds pretty cool. That was the intro that kind of overlapped a little bit into the actual audio. And then the outro just follows right on its heels there. So what I did up to this point was record audio, open up an intro and an outro file that I had previously recorded and saved as an MP3, inserted it into the track where it needed to be, did a little bit of overlapping, a little bit of trimming, and now it's just ready to go. So I'm actually going to be exporting it as an MP3. I'm gonna save it to the desktop, and I'm just gonna keep it as one mix down. Making sure everything else is correct here, it looks good. This is saving to the desktop. Welcome to EntrepreneurOnFire.com, where remarkable entrepreneurs share their inspiring story. Let their Tim Ferriss, Gary Van, this actual little audio that I'm recording, and seven other incredible guests. Prepare to ignite. All right, so as you can see, that's pretty cool. The intro, the outro, it all works. It's overlapping. It's one smooth exported MP3 ready to go. So that was just a quick little tutorial of how to add an intro, add an outro to a piece of audio. This is going to give you the basic understandings of what you need to get you on your way.